Did you know that there's a lot of reasons why you should be a good reader? There's a lot of ways that people read. Did you know that doctors read x-rays? They call it reading x-rays. There's reading all around us. And you want to be a good reader in life. Yeah, you want to be a good reader in life. This book is about a lot of different ways, opportunities we could say, ways that people read, things that they read, places that they read, and reasons why they read. Think about that while you're listening. And you want to be a good reader. It's also about the alphabet. See if you can figure out why. Read Anything Good Lately by Susan Allen and Jane, Jane Lindemann, illustrated by Vicki Enright. This book is written by two people. Wow, it took two people to do that. She's in her treehouse reading, and this story is about a little girl. Readers, this is a flyleaf. It tells you a synopsis of the book. That's a big word, synopsis. Readers, have you ever thought about the many kinds of books or periodicals, that's another type of thing you read, or brochures, that's another type of thing that you can read, or other things that you read? This charming picture book takes you on an alphabet alphabetical stroll through a surprising variety of forms that your reading can take and suggests some very nice places where you can do that reading. If you love to read, put this pretty picture book in your pocket and peruse it periodically, perhaps in the pantry. Those things all started with P. P, P, P. That's called alliteration. There's a big word. That's a, that's a sixth grade word, alliteration. That's a middle school word. Read Anything Good Lately by Susan Allen and Jane Lindemann. I should know because I used to teach middle school. Illustrated by Vicki Enright. Huh. There's people in a chair. Looks like they're reading a storybook. And that dog is relaxed. And that little brother, he wants to read too. I think they're in their jammies. And there's a cat. Hoo-hoo! A book with a cat in it. Here's a dedication page. For my girls, J.L. To my mom for her constant enthusiasm, S.A. To my family, Tim, Sean, and Nikki, Finney, and Jake, V.E. Remember, on the dedication, the author and illustrator just go by their initials. J.L. S.A. V.E. So J.L. is Jane Lindemann. S.A. is Susan Allen. And V.E. is Vicki Enright. Hmm. The illustrators get to do that too. Read anything good lately? An atlas at the airport. Here's an inset. It shows a map of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark. Now, I went to Ireland a couple of times, and my wife went to Germany. That's not too far away from those countries. A biography in bed. This one says Harriet Tubman worked very hard to lead to freedom. Huh, Harriet Tubman. Comic books around the campfire. This inset doesn't have any words, but it shows pictures like a lot of comic books do. A man with a cape standing on the moon. You can't stand like that on the moon. Flying toward the earth. Huh. The dictionary at my desk. This inset says dinosaur. Something from the, of the body. Any chiefly terrestrial herbivorous coniferous reptile. It's kind of hard to read all that, but I'm just kind of mumbling as I read it. An encyclopedia in an easy chair. This inset shows pictures of birds. I think they're owls. These something powerful owls range by day. The trees, they tree, they eat possum. Hmm. They eat possum? Fairy tales by the fireplace. Did you notice there's letters up here? And it shows a picture of a king and a queen or a princess. And they're dancing. Maybe it's a prince and a princess. Gossip in the grocery line. It says rock star to go on her own tired of something. History in a hammock. It shows Washington crossing. That would be the Delaware. That was a famous river crossing by George Washington during the War of Independence. That's what we celebrate the 4th of July all about, 1776 and all that stuff, fireworks. Information on the internet. Chinese calendar each year is named after one of 12 animals. Huh, you learn something every day. Joke books in the jacuzzi. A jacuzzi is a big pool. Well, it's a, it's a big bathtub. It's a small pool, and sometimes they're heated, and they have uh, 
water that flows. Maybe you've got a jacuzzi at home. Maybe you don't. I don't. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange, orange who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange, orange who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Aren't you glad I didn't say orange? They're laughing, as they should. In the back of the Kellogg's book in the kitchen. Muffins. Two cups cereal. One cup flour. One cup milk. Rice and mix together. Start throwing. Enjoy. Literature at the library. There's just a pig. I think that's from Charlotte's Web. And that's Wilbur. And that's the spider. What was the spider's name? Hmm. Magazines at the mall. Training tips. Use dog treats at all times. Give him lots of love at all times. Yeah. It's a happy dog. Newspaper in my nightie. She's with Dad or Grandpa. Somebody there. National Children's Book Week. Big success. Well, they've done it again. Schools all over the country had kids reading. And there looks like that. It looks like that dog book. The one that was with the police officer. Huh. Huh. How about that? That must be a famous book. Orders at Mom's office. 20 dresses, size large, medium, small. Colors, mauve, orange. Skirt, sizes large, medium, small. Color. Poetry on a park bench. A beautiful spring day. Come out to play. Quotations in the quiet. The pen is mightier than the sword. That's a famous quotation. That's something that someone said, a quotation. They're quoted. That's why we use quotation marks at the beginning and the end. Recipes in my rocking chair. It says butter, one cup sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, two teaspoons salt, or, yeah, teaspoons, one cup flour, cream, the sift, and oh. Science fiction on a swing. And it says the spaceship on the planet where the signs of life. Tall tales in my treehouse. Paul Bunyan with his mm, sidekick, Babe. Worth the letter T. What's coming next? U. Not U, but the letter U. Updates under an umbrella. Today forecast, partly cloudy, chance of rain. A vacation on, in the van. Fishing is really great. Explore the coves of the islands and... That must be a travel brochure. W. It was the best of times. Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever in the waiting room. It was the best of times and the worst of times. That's a great novel. Knee, astringent, band-aid. He's reading about that. Uh, lose weight, the heart, herbal way. She's reading about that. I don't know what she's reading. Nordic sweater, key pee for the rose design. Mm -hmm. And x-rays in the examination room. Doctor's reading the x-ray. Little girl's looking at it too. And the dog is looking. Oh, the dog broke his tail. It's a vet. It's a dog doctor, a veterinarian. I thought it was a doctor. Oh, it is a doctor. A yoga book in the yard, upside down. Positioned to be centered, not to fall over. Breathe deeply. The Zodiac at the zoo. That starts with Z. Z, Z, Z. Ooh, look at that snake. I don't like snakes. Pisces, February 19, March 20. You will always love reading. And what have you read lately? Boy with a bicycle. Boy with a phone book, reading the phone book. Boy reading his report card. He got an A in reading. Oh. And a boy reading a travel brochure. Ski New England. Here are some other kinds of reading. Can you think of places where you might read them? It's okay to be silly. A reference book. Maybe the library. A textbook at school or online. Nonfiction. A picture book. Nonfiction would be anywhere that had a nonfiction book. Picture book. Oh, you could do that in the library. You can do it at home. You can look at my picture books. A romance novel. I'm not reading those. Mystery. Ah, I love to read mysteries. Fiction. Essay. Uh, when you write about stories, you're writing an essay. Short story. Hmm. Autobiography. That's a book about somebody that they wrote about themselves. A phone book. I think we already said that. Okay. This is a first book for Susan Allen and Jane Lindemann. Oh, it's on the back side of it. It's still part of the flyleaf. Susan has been connecting children and books for the past 30 years as an elementary school teacher. Oh, and librarian in Phoenix, Arizona. If you don't know where that's at, ask mom or dad to show you a map. They can Google it real fast. Jane, too, is a teacher working at an elementary school in Gilbert, Arizona, probably nearby. They wrote the book because they wanted children to understand that they read in so many more places and for so many more reasons than school. 
This is a first picture book for Vicki Enright as well, though she has illustrated a number of highly successful Kathy Ross craft titles, including Crafts for All Seasons, Crafts from Your Favorite Fairy Tales, and Crafts from Your Favorite Children's Songs. Those are interesting titles. Vicki lives in Andover, Massachusetts, with two small sons, two huge Labrador Retriever dogs, and her husband. Well, I'm glad they included the part about her husband. Oh, there's something on the back. From an atlas to the airport to a yoga book in the yard and the zodiac at the zoo, a little girl moves playfully along through biography, comics, dictionary, encyclopedia, magazine, poetry, quotations, recipes, and a variety of genres. This book has more value as a catalyst than as an alphabet book or enjoyable story, the school library journal. That's a review. Wow, a review even for this book. Teachers and librarians will find this book a great read aloud to introduce resources at the beginning of the year as a review or as a review at the end of the year. <clears throat> Library Media Collection, that's another review. Presents an engaging literary game likely to continue well beyond one pass through the ABCs. You can reread it. Kirkus Review, another review. Wow, this was a powerful book. All those dedications reviews, and all those references to different things and places and reasons to read. I like it a lot. Thanks. Mm -hmm.